We all learned growing up that writing takes a lot of time, or at least it used to. In this video, we're going to keep moving through our course showing you all of the features and tools available for you on writesonic.com. To cut down on the amount of time that you spend writing content, and increase the amount of time that you spend doing things you care about. Specifically in this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of Write Sonic's most powerful tools, the GPT-3 powered Sonic Editor. The Sonic Editor is not only the perfect way to write blog posts, but also articles, ads, emails, and even entire books. You can literally use this tool to cut down on the amount of time that you spend writing any written copy. All right, let's dive into it. After logging into WriteSonic, find the Sonic Editor writing tool, and once you do, click on it and you'll be taken to a blank document. You want to start by giving the document a title so you can easily find and reference it on your WriteSonic dashboard if you ever need to leave and come back to the project. On the left side of the project, you'll see a slider that allows you to adjust the creativity level of the AI writer. Higher creativity levels will value coming up with new and more creative ideas to write about as it discusses the inputs you provided it with. However, it will value sticking to the topic much less. So for example, if you're writing a fantasy book, you may want to try having a creativity level somewhere between 0.8 and 1.0. Whereas if you want the AI writer to stick to content that's much more on topic, you'll want the creativity level to be much lower. If you're unsure about the creativity level that you want to start with, we recommend starting with about 0.6. And you can make decisions based about how creative versus on topic you want the AI writer to be after you become more familiar with the content it will create for you at this creativity setting. And before we start creating content using Sonic Editor, we need to point out that you're able to format content using the toolbar at the bottom of the document to bold, underline or italicize text, designate text as an H1 or H2 header for articles, web pages, and blog posts, hyperlink text, or add numbered or bulleted lists, as well as clear any text formatting. It's important to note that WriteSonic will make decisions based off of how you format your content. So be sure to use these tools as you deem appropriate for whatever content you're writing. All right, tour complete. Now you're ready to start creating AI generated content. When getting started with the Sonic Editor, there's two methods to choose from. You can either start from scratch or copy and paste some already created content into the document. Let's start with starting to write the article from scratch. To get started, the Sonic Editor will need a minimum level of input to gain an understanding of what you want it to write about. So give it a start. If I'm creating content worthy of a title, like a blog, story, or article, I'll start by writing the title of the document as an H1 header and then writing an introductory sentence. But if I'm writing content that wouldn't necessarily need a title, say like a video script, I just get started by typing the script. Today, I'm making a digital marketing blog article, so I'll go ahead and write the H1 title for the article as well as an opening sentence. And then I can click Write with AI. And as you can see, the Sonic Editor gets right to work pumping out a few hundred words for us to revise and make adjustments to. And since we identified with our title and opening paragraph that we're going to be putting together a list of information, the Sonic Editor has already numbered and separated each of the points that we're going to be making with subheadings. I'll go ahead and let the AI know that I was happy with this decision by formatting these subheadings as H2 headers. If you're happy with the decision Sonic Editor made, move your cursor to the end of the document and tell it to write with AI again and it will continue adding more content to the document, expanding further on the content that it's already created. If however, you think the content that the Sonic Editor has created for you needs a little bit of tweaking, there are tools to help with that. If there's any content that the AI writer wrote that you don't care for, you can delete it and either manually enter some text that would give Sonic Editor a little more information about the direction that you'd like it to take as it creates more content for you, or you can have Sonic Editor start creating content for you right where you've left off your cursor after deleting the content. Now, let's say there's a section of content that's exactly what you want the Sonic Editor to be talking about, but you want it to provide more information so that you can get your word count up. No problem at all. Just highlight the text that you want Sonic Editor to make longer and then click expand. The AI will deliver you several options for you to select and add more sentences about the content that you highlighted. And if you feel like the Sonic Editor was a little long-winded, again, no issues. Just highlight the text and click shorten to be provided options to decrease your word count. And if for any reason you're happy with the value of the content that was created for you and you just want Sonic Editor to give you a different way to say it, Sonic Editor will provide multiple variations of what you highlighted to select from to replace your highlighted content. And when you're finishing up your content, if you need Sonic Editor to put a nice bow on everything, put your cursor at the bottom of the document and type conclusion. Make it an H2 subheading and write the first sentence of your closing paragraph. Click Write with AI and Sonic Editor will know that you're winding things up and finish the paragraph off bringing everything home. 
After completing your content, you can either post it directly to your WordPress.com or WordPress.org website using WordPress third-party integrations, which we have a link in the description below this video to show you how to set up. Or you can download it to be copied and pasted anywhere you see fit. To try Sonic Editor or any of the other powerful time multiplying tools that are available for you on WriteSonic for yourself, visit our website using the link in the description to sign up for a free 2500 word trial. But that's it for this video on WriteSonic's Sonic Editor. We'll see you in the next video where we'll be showing you another one of WriteSonic's powerful AI writing tools. And as always, if you have any questions, let us know.